Hey guys, it's Asher, and welcome to a new video. I actually haven't done a face cam like this in a very long time. Um, yeah, it, th it's been a very long time since I've done something like this. Uh, but since I got a new capture card, I wanted to mess with it and do fun things like this more often, maybe. I don't know. 2018 is coming to a end, and we had a huge amount of content dropped for us for The Sims 4 this year. Um, normally, around this time of the year, I would normally do, like, some sort of my top five video games for the year, but honestly, I haven't really been playing many other games besides, like, The Sims 4 and Overwatch, and both of those did not come out in 2018. So, yeah, hopefully 2000 and, um, hopefully 2019 I'll play some other games. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, so, um, I'm gonna rate the five stuff packs that came out this year. Last year they had six, but they also only had one expansion pack, and this year we had two expansion packs, so, you know, that's a big fun deal, um, compared to last year. So, I guess we'll just start with just going from five to one, uh, first. So, number five. It's going to be my first pet stuff pack. It came out on March 13, 2018. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of people have a lot of slander against it. A lot of people do not like it. Um, that's kind of why it's like at the bottom of the list for me personally. Um, like the whole deal you have where you can be able to play with the actual like rodents and stuff is cool. I wish we had more variety of rodents, but I guess that's okay now because we do have you know, like, mods and stuff to be able to do that. Like, we have a mod where we can turn, like, the guinea pig into a, like, a guinea pig or a bunny or any of those other things. So, you know, we have that. It's not as well-defined as I wanted it to be. Um, it was not anything compared to this other stuff pack that came out this year. Um, now, the other stuff pack this year also was, you know, like, a group kind of deal together so yeah that's that so and then on number four of my list is get famous now a lot of people might yell at me for this because it's so low on my list of like great things that they did this year um i love the expansion self expansion pack itself it's really great it's really nice but one of the things that i loved about all the other expansion packs is that it's so versatile and you can use it throughout like your entire gameplay you can it like every little like there's so many little details and things with it that is literally a game changer and all that other fun stuff and it's like you want to have it in there with the get famous one you can have you have so many options to be like yeah um i don't care about famous people i don't want to do anything famous yeah no no thank you i'm good and plus like the world from my point of view like it's a beautiful world it's just, it feels like nothing next to, like, Brindleton Bay and, uh, oh god, what's the other one? Let's just say Brindleton Bay. Um, so, yeah, even though it was a great expansion pack and I loved everything about it, like, the items and things about it is really cool. Um, I feel like there's also a lot of, like, random build stuff that's only beneficial to the, like, acting career and... It's not really that great and beneficial to everything else in The Sims 4 build items. Like, you have to get very creative with all the other Get Famous idea stuff. So, number three on my list is Jungle Adventure. I really loved Jungle Adventure. Like, I loved it a lot. I had more fun with Jungle Adventure than I did with Get Famous, which is why Jungle Adventure, you know, trumped Get Famous. I just, I think the jungle adventure world was just so beautiful and there was so much you could explore with it and play with it and it just made you want to continue going on a vacation over and over again and plus like the aspirations and everything and the whole like and the whole temple and everything with the build or not with the build but with the world was just spot on and perfect and it's just this perfect little area of the sims 4 that you constantly kind of want to go back and play around in like there's so much stuff in there that i have not explored yet and i want to explore so much more 
So, number two, a drum roll, please, is Laundry Day. So, yes, a stuff pack actually hit number two on my list. Um, I just, I love Laundry Day. Laundry Day is honestly probably one of the best like, stuff packs that has been made in The Sims 4 in general. Like, there's so much- it's so versatile, and it's so great, and I love it so much. Like, there's so much stuff from it. Laundry Day was great, and I love it so much, and it's just- it was a perfect add to realism, or a little addition to realism, and just nice things to add to The Sims 4, and I just really loved it, and I really enjoyed it, and all the stuff in there is just- perfect. I just, I loved the laundry day stuff pack. It's, it's my favorite part. It's honestly my, fa- one of my favorite packs ever. Like, if I had to go through and I had only a certain amount of money to pay for all the stuff packs that I had or that I could get for The Sims 4, that one would be on the top of my list. Like, I would have to get laundry day because laundry day is just awesome. And then for number one, if you haven't, like, if you've done research on everything. June 22nd, 2018, Seasons came out. And oh boy, let me tell you, I loved that pack so much. Um, That's why it's number one. It was probably the biggest game changer to The Sims 4 in general. And I just, I loved it so much. I loved Seasons and it was, it's just beautiful and everything in it was just perfectly added to give just this awesome new game changer to everyday life and plus you can celebrate Christmas and that's like one of the best parts of it is you can celebrate Christmas um but yeah so those are all the packs that were released this year um and if you like rate the packs for me if you want down in the description below the packs that came out this year was laundry day jungle adventure get my first pet stuff pack seasons get famous um those were all the five stuff packs that came out this year um even though like last year they had six stuff pack or six packs came that came out um they also only had one expansion pack come out and so it's a it's a good balance it's it's honestly a great balance especially with seasons seasons honestly was so great like i was i'm so happy with seasons so much um but yeah that's pretty much going to be it um go ahead and rate your expand or your packs down below for me as well tell me how you feel about it and tell me how you think i might be wrong in your opinion if that makes sense but yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and all that other fun stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.